Optical and laser mouse. A laser mouse is a type of optical mouse. It uses a laser beam which is invisible or nearly invisible to the human eye. The beam emitted by the laser mouse moves with the user's hand, triggering an optical sensor system. It works in tandem with uh, a system which tracks how far the mouse has moved by bouncing hundreds of images every second, constantly updating the position of the mouse and the subsequent position of the cursor on a screen. So, first, uh, optical mouse was developed and introduced by Agilent Technologies in late uh, 1999. The optical mouse actually uses a tiny camera to take 1500 pictures every second. Able to work on almost any surface, the mouse has a small red light emitting uh, diode LED that bounces light off that surface onto a complementary metal oxide semiconductor sensor. CMOS or complementary metal oxide semiconductor uh, is a is a uh, technology that is used uh, for constructing integrated circuit chips, including microprocessors, microcontrollers, memory chips like uh, BIOS, and other digital logic circuits. CMOS technology is used uh, for analog circuits such as uh, image sensors, like in here in optical mouse data converters radio frequency circuits and uh, highly integrated transceivers uh, for many types of communications. Now, the CMOS sensor send uh, each image to a digital signal processor uh, or DSP for analysis. So this DSP is uh, actually is a specialized microprocessor chip uh, with its architecture optimized for operational needs of um, digital signal processor. DSPs are widely used in audio signal processing, telecommunication, digital image processing, radar, sonar and speech recognition systems and in common consumer electronic devices such as mobile phones, disk drives and high definition uh, TVs and all. The goal of DSP is usually to measure, filter or compress continuous real-world analog signals. So wherever the data is being collected from around the environment, DSPs are used. Most general purpose microprocessors can also execute digital signal processor DSP algorithm successfully but may not be able to keep up with uh, such processing continuously in real time because they have to do many more things and DSPs are just made for one task. Also, dedicated DSPs are usually have better power efficiency. Thus, they are more suitable in portable devices such as mobile phones because of power consumption, consumption constraints. So, now, the DSP uh, working mostly at the speed of 18 million instructions per second and it is able to detect patterns in the image and see how those uh, patterns have moved since the previous image. Based on the changes uh, uh, in patterns over the sequence of images, the DSP determines how far the mouse has moved and sends the corresponding coordinates to the computer. The computer moves the cursor on the screen based on the coordinates received uh, from the mouse. This happens hundreds of times each second, making the cursor appear to move very smoothly. So that is what uh, uh, is about uh, optical mouse uh, working. Now a little more, let's revise. So optical mouse works by using low resolution video camera embedded in the sensor here. Uh, to take successive images of the surfaces on which the mouse operates. It uses uh, LED light, light emitting diode, which illuminates uh, red light generally onto the surface underneath which is uh, reflected back 
and uh, fine tuned before getting picked up by the sensor a plastic lens uh, collects the reflected light and forms an image on the sensor if you were to look at that image uh, it would be a black and white picture of tiny section of the surface here now uh, the sensor continuously take pictures as the mouse moves, the sensor takes pictures quickly, sometimes 1500 to 1600 images per second, fast enough so that sequential pictures overlap. The rest of the work is uh, taken care by the optical navigation engine through a patented image processing algorithm in DSP. Uh, and this information is then translated into X and Y coordinates to indicate uh, mouse movement and are sent to the computers and computer manages to move the um, mouse on the screen. Thank you.